and a very warm welcome everyone into Prime here. What I'm going to be doing in this game today is do a play test on this um, difficulty setting to Pro M. I have been using the amateur setting, you know, sorry, beginner, and then went to amateur. Uh, so I thought it'd be time I'd, to use this on the actual Pro Am setting, which apparently is the sort of more um, mediocre setting for most people. So we'll just try this out. I have been trying it out already uh, on one of my courses. I'll try it again. Let me just go play now. Play a local match. Um, Bucklesham Delta Tour is quite a nice one. One of my recent ones. Play a new round. Let's play this. Let's play this from the blue tees. And let's go pin set. So let's begin the round. Be using an Xbox controller. Just one second. And continue. So as you can see from here, I've actually set the settings in here to metric rather than imperial, because in imperial the actual height doesn't show, or elevations don't show properly, especially the uh, little increments show in the course designer. So I've done it this way. Let me just check. Okay, so here we go. So this is playing. So this is now playing in Pro Am. So this course I designed um, really wasn't based on any of the courses I've done. It's, I hadn't imported any other courses into this or used it, any other template. It's just scratch built basically. The first hole that you see here. It's a par four. And it is hundred and ninety-nine meters from Blue Tees, which I'm playing off. So let me dial this down a little bit. And that goes off. I'm still trying to get used to the swing mechanics of this one. Um, the beginner and amateur settings sort of tended to hold your hand basically and sort of corrected any um, any mistakes that you made with your swing. But this one doesn't. You can see I'm going for a double bogey now after missing that. I still like using this putting guide. It gives you a sort of vague idea of where you'll end up so you can compensate for that. A good thing to do as well is to remove the, the flag stick. Otherwise I've done it before where I actually was straight on course and I hit the flag stick and the ball came straight to bounce back out again. So I mean this game I'm really enjoying. It's it's great. Graphics are excellent. A lot of the new objects that they have now. Um, Make sure. Yep. You can see this is the, the actual pin from here. And the waterfall feature is over there. You can see from here. That's what waterfalls and rocks. And 
these um, big reeds that you see here are actual uh, are actually the new <coughs> the new objects that included uh, for the grass and stuff. And these are two bright green basically, but I thought I'd include it in this one. Now when I um, ported this course into the new editor and everything, it changed the tree here. I think I had a, a willow tree here before in the original one, but for some reason it converted it into that. I think it's a tree or is it a bush, I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's done. Let me try but will not reach that. I want to lay up for this shot. Up and down with five hybrid. Let it run a bit. Oh, like I said, I'm slowly getting used to the, the Pro Am difficulty setting. It's a little bit better and it's sort of more um, similar to what I was using in 2019. So once I get a feel for it, it should hopefully, fingers crossed, be a lot better. Okay. Let's see if we can bounce this off this one. Another perfect 90% power. That's on the green. So let's keep going. Little birdie. Go, go, go. Oh, no, you're kidding me. Okay. At least the make par. I'm already two over. Let's see if I can actually gain in a couple. Um, in a couple here. Again, very slow. It's just that timing from the backswing to the follow through. <coughs> I get a perfect when I don't need it really, or should have done this in the first place. There we go. So that's 132 meters. Dial it down a six kilometer mile an hour wind. Yeah, it's going a little fast. Not to worry, it's on the green anyway. So I'm happy with that. I mean, you play a couple of these holes, I mean, it's you get a general idea of this, but definitely setting it on the Pro M setting is a lot, um, it's a lot more challenging for me. The other two settings, the beginner and amateur, were okay, but there was, it, I just felt that there was a lot of hand holding going on. And, um, to properly appreciate this game, you really need to start uh, moving up the difficulty setting. I know there are a few uh, players out there already on Legendary, so hats off to those guys. I find it difficult enough as it is on this setting. I won't attempt any of that yet until I'm sort of more proficient with this. And the game itself is really good, it's played smoothly. Um, it's a lot better. There's no, I haven't noticed any lag or anything with this at all. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this. Let's go for a driver. Let's see what we can do. It's a good thing about this game is the is the fact that if you're in between clubs, uh, you can sort of choke down on a club, so to speak. What I'm doing here with the driver. There's a driver off the off the ground. Let's see what we can do with this one. And that has gone wayward again. I'm going to lose a stroke on that one. No, that's not too bad. We'll try it again. Mind you, it is par 5. That 5 would will get me there now. 
we've dialed it down into the clip. Yep, do that. Yeah, that's better. And the wind in this um, game does um, carry, so you, you've got you now have that to contend with, which is really good. It gives it a more realistic feel, and this is what I felt about this game as well, is that it's... I just felt that the previous um, renditions of this game, TGC 1, I never played TGC 2, but TGC uh, 2019, still felt very arcade -ish. So to speak, even on the hard set, on the pro clubs and stuff, it still felt to me like it was an arcade game. But this one, with the improvements that they've made, especially with the swing mechanics and everything, this is more a golf simulator now. Really enjoying it. Be honest with you, if I had the money and the pl and the um, and the space for it, I would definitely buy a SkyTrack um, set and have this and play this uh, sort of for, not for real, but play it on a big screen like that, so that you're actually swinging the golf club yourself. I'd love to do that one day. But then again, I need the money for that sort of stuff. One thing I've just noticed is I have actually um, gained a reward for another club, which I haven't actually put um, added to my bag yet. I'm going to need to do that because I think that gives gives you a little bit more distance. So I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to stop this here. So if you guys want to play this, this is my course NT Bucklesham Tour. Play it please. It'd be great to get as many uh, plays on this and likes. And this is quite a challenging course anyway. But hopefully, nope. Fast forward. Time control, let's do some speed speed time. Here we go. Try this. Now this is quite an aggressive green. I think I aim for there. Oh, not bad. That is that was just my estimation was close. I reckon it's a little bit more there. Now you can practice a swing if you Press the on the Xbox controller if you the right toggle, the right jo joystick or whatever you call it, the right um, stick. If you press it down, it gives you a practice swing. So you, can, you can practice your tempo on here. Okay, like that now. Ah, uh, too, too hard. So reduce the power on that one as well. May end up going for bogey at this rate. Oh my goodness. What's going on? And I still miss. There you go. I think was that triple bogey? That's a double bogey. Okay. All right, guys. Let me just come out of here. Just going to try something. I think you've seen enough of me playing this. Can't be that. <laughs> Can't be that interesting. One second. Let me just come out of here. Here we 
we'll just click this for now. Just want to see what um, new items I've actually got. My player going to here. Clothing golf bag. There we go. Get some extra. I think I've got this extra golf golf there. I thought I was an extra, extra bit of kit, obviously. Yeah. See what extra bit of clothing I got then. That one. Is that a hat? Two hats? What does that look like? No, no thanks. Go back to my cowboy hat. So, let's see what else I've got. What other items I have? I don't think I've got anything else. Oh, I've got a top. Let's see what tops we have. Polo? No. I like what I'm wearing at the moment. Jackets at home. I'll come out of here just a second. Get some trousers. No, I don't want to show my legs. Come out of there. To be honest with you, I quite like what I've got on at the moment. See what they got here. Got some more shoes. Nope, don't really like them. Could buy some more. These are sort of similar to the ones I've actually I actually use in real life. No, it's actually these. Okay, it's nothing really to write home about. I mean, this is the one of the biggest criticisms about this game is the rewards that you get for um, for your player and stuff. Not something I would uh, write home about. There you go, that's, that's what it is. That's what it's like. What's this like? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I've got a jacket at home similar to this, so can I do this one? 500. Do I want the jacket? It's branded. Already got one here. I think this is a Zidas as well. You can't change the color of screen on these things. Uh, let me just check these trousers. Go to all, go to here. They don't give you the option anymore to actually change the colour that I've seen. I think that's why they've put more of it. Ooh, oh dear. Nice and 
funky colours. That works. Even better. <laughs> Let's go for something neutral. Nothing like this, it's all good. Purchase and equip, yep. $75 or 75 credits. There you go. That's my player. Changed his outfit. I hope you enjoy it and like it. What about a watch? What else have we got for a watch? I don't really wear a watch in real life, so I'll leave it at that. Oh, before I forget, the um, if you want to change your settings and the um, from metric to imperial or imperial to metric, we just do it in this one. You go to settings, display and HUD. I think this is where I found it. Display units. There you go. And this shows up in the actual editor as well. So, and we'll carry on with that. Uh, in another video. So thanks for watching everyone. That was me playing um, NT Bucklesham Tour, uh, one of my own courses, creations, uh, playing on Pro-Am. Once I get more proficient with the Pro-Am version of this um, swing mechanic, I'll progress on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe everyone. Ninja Prime out.